In Ororam, just like in this universe of ours, things were always happening. Refuge of Happiness Since childhood, Tara had found refuge and tranquility in the forests near her home. Unfortunately, she had to flee from a young age due to the devastating effects of the war that ravaged her village with great destruction, hunger, and immense poverty. After her family's decision to encourage her to leave, she was forced to embark on a journey that took her through various cultures and landscapes, marking the beginning of her journey of deep self-discovery. During this journey, Tara encountered people from diverse backgrounds, each with stories that enriched her worldview. From warm smiles to ancient wisdom, and moments of danger and discouragement, each experience added a new layer of understanding to her quest for a home and happiness, offering her growing self opportunities for learning. As she gradually distanced herself from her homeland, her mind remained restless, unable to find a clear path forward. Tara found it difficult to quiet her thoughts, carrying such a burden that she often felt exhausted. She sought to understand everything that had happened to her and what she was experiencing at every moment. She longed for everything that came into her life to have a positive flavor or, at least, to teach her how to live happily in this vast world. This incessant longing left her drained. One day, exhausted and hungry, Tara arrived at a mountain refuge located in a beautiful setting. Although she had planned to explore the nearby villages that day, she was forced to stop. Her body craved rest. Hoping to find relief, she headed to the refuge in search of a place to rest for at least a few minutes. The refuge keeper welcomed her kindly, immediately noticing how tired she was. With a warm smile, he invited her to sit down and offered her hot food a delicious soup loaded with vegetables and spices she had never tasted before. However, she was so exhausted that she could barely enjoy this gift. The keeper also noticed her fatigue and offered her a bed to rest quietly. Incredulous of such hospitality, but at the same time immensely tired and with a deep sense of gratitude in her heart, Tara accepted his offer, leaving the steaming, fragrant soup behind as she made her way to the room, where she found what seemed to be the softest bed in the world at that moment. She let her gaze wander vaguely around the modest interior and without thinking twice, she surrendered to the embrace of sleep and exhaustion, feeling an instant hug of fulfillment and compassion. Upon waking up, with the sun already streaming through the window, she had no idea how long she had slept. That new morning, she felt finally rested. Her eyes still felt heavy from having to stay alert to dangers and threats on her long journey. She observed how her body had managed to recover from the cold, rain, and intense days without rest. She felt immediately grateful because there was still so much kindness present in her world, where until now, she had lived through the worst that people could do to each other. She remembered the generous gesture of the person who had provided her with food and shelter and, feeling a deep sense of gratitude and appreciation, she decided to immediately express her gratitude for his generosity and kindness. After enjoying this waking time in the room, she headed to the welcoming hall, where she had met the refuge keeper the day before. She didn't find him there but she saw a note dedicated to the people who visited the refuge every day. She took her time with a hearty breakfast and met a group of friends who invited her to participate in a meditation practice they were about to start. Tara, who had never practiced meditation until that moment, accepted joyfully, feeling that she would learn something in this new and wonderful place that would serve her on her journey. The refuge, a shelter for shepherds and herds and their transhumans, had a space dedicated to meditation and other social activities. It was a spacious and bright room, 
adorned with simplicity and illuminated by windows that allowed the sun's light to filter gently, flooding the interior with a warm and golden feeling of welcome. Colorful cushions scattered on the floor warmly invited visitors to sit and immerse themselves in inner peace. Guided by sounds emanating from the floor of the room, Tara settled on a purple cushion next to the central stove and closed her eyes, allowing her breath to become slow and deep, as her father had taught her long ago while walking through the forest of her native Guanarsjold. One of the girls spoke in a soft and comforting tone, guiding the rest, who remained silent, through the steps of Rakayan, a form of meditation practiced by the inhabitants of the region. With each word, with each sound, Tara experienced how her body calmed down, how worries faded away, and how a state of peace emerged more and more clearly from within. As the meditation session ended, nearby trees began to refresh the atmosphere. No one could explain exactly how this process worked, but apparently, the trees appreciated when people felt at peace and shared abundance. The fresh and invigorating aroma emanating from the flowers and stems of nearby trees and shrubs filled the room with a herbal and slightly sweet touch, evoking a sense of cleanliness and clarity, similar to the fresh air next to a waterfall, awakening the senses and providing a feeling of calm and renewal. Tara slowly opened her eyes, feeling renewed and in harmony with herself and the world around her. The meditation had ended some time ago, and without realizing it, she had stayed there, sitting on her purple cushion and in silence, embraced by the deep love she felt from existence and the kindness of all. Carefully, she got up and left the room. The clean air dissolved among the vigorous rays of the morning sun. She wandered around the refuge. She was impressed by the serenity that enveloped the place, a sensation she had sensed the day before but was too tired to explore. The gardens, far from what one would expect to find in an animal shelter, were meticulously cared for and decorated with fiber-colored flowers, like the cushions in the meditation room. The presence of ancient and lush trees accentuated the natural beauty of the surrounding landscape. She observed how a flock of shikumen grazed peacefully in the nearby pastures, accompanied by a shepherd and his guanyo. The refuge keeper, returning from delivering food to the shikumen flock shepherd, met Tara at the entrance of the refuge, sitting on the ground under the shade of the immense tree, looking out at the horizon. He noticed the well-being that Tara was experiencing in that moment. With this intuition, he kindly invited Tara to stay a few more days. He suggested that she help him with the care of the garden and the animals, so she could rest deeply and continue practicing meditation. Tara accepted the offer gratefully, without hesitation. The days she spent at the refuge were truly transformative for her. After a few days, with deep gratitude towards Margiaz, as the refuge keeper was called, Tara resumed her journey. Now she carried with her a valuable lesson. Wherever she was, she reserved a few minutes each day for meditation. She sought out a quiet corner, closed her eyes, and immersed herself in the serenity of her breath. These moments, which she immensely enjoyed, became a daily opportunity to refresh herself deeply and discern the present inner peace. During her journey, Tara experienced compassion and gratitude as fundamental pillars of society. Encountering generous and kind-hearted individuals along her path, she cherished the act of giving and receiving with an open heart, which allowed her to experience a deep sense of satisfaction and fulfillment. These encounters inspired her to continue cultivating an attitude of kindness towards others and to recognize the blessings that filled her life, even amidst challenges. 
Humility and appreciation also stood out as essential elements during her pilgrimage. By enjoying the beauty and simple in everyday things, Tara observed the richness that lay within life itself. Each moment became an opportunity to cherish small joys and appreciate the gifts that the universe offered her, nurturing her sense of wonder and constant gratitude. Inner peace is expressed through acceptance and connection with oneself and others. By practicing patience, understanding, and forgiveness, one can free themselves from the burdens of the past and find harmony in the present. In this state of serenity, it becomes easier to experience a deep connection with the world we observe and live with a heart at peace with life and ourselves. Nevertheless, we continue to ask ourselves the following questions. What is the essence of happiness? What is the impact of cherished friendships on our well-being? How can we end suffering and live a life without attachments? To discuss these topics and more, we invite you to visit our website and listen to our podcasts. Subscribe or become a patron to access our episodes in advance and enjoy longer, more visually enhanced stories, as well as our newsletter full of exclusive content presented in the weekly episode. You will also receive infographics and special gifts. What are your thoughts on these topics? What has been your experience? Share with us in the comments, and make sure to have notifications enabled so you don't miss any future videos. We appreciate your support, it means a lot to us. Hopefully, together we can bring more inspiration to the lives of more people. Share this story with someone you care about, as it may touch their heart and awaken their dormant dreams. Let's join forces in spreading the wisdom and inspiration found in stories, illuminating the world one tale at a time. Thank you so much for being here, watching and listening. And keep living inspired.